to a new series on the YouTubes. Um, today we're doing some Airport CEO, and it's an alpha um, based game. An alpha based game is still an alpha development, is what I should be saying. It's yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you are going to enjoy the series. Um, we're gonna follow this tutorial very loosely because I I know what I need to do, right? So. I know how to build these airfields, I know how to build everything into an international airport, but we're going to learn it together. So, first of all, we can see that we've got four tiles, three of them are taken, and we've got this wonderful little square first. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're going to press tab and it'll open up this whole shebang. I'm going to click allow general aviation, and what this does, it allows those little light aircraft to come and land at your airport. These guys are important. Um, for the time being because they're the ones that are going to be our source of income until we get um, passenger jets and so on. In our emails we've got a email from the um, mayor um, basically just saying what we need to do, press and tab, press H to, for the tutorial etc etc. But what we need to do is we need to build our airport. In order to make it work we need contractors. We press tab again, we go to our economy, we go to our offered contract and as you can see we've got two building contractors so you can go and filter by contractors highway a two-star company is offering us 83 maximum contractors for an hourly fee of 7.1 pounds yeah okay that's not too bad however brickley on the other hand is offering us 121 contractors for the price of five pound 30 which is cheaper for more so we'll sign that one and we now have our guys so go back to operations you go to construction and deploy all contractors and there we go so they should be arriving as you can see down there and what we're going to do is we're going to go to our airport infrastructure we're going to go here to the small runway and instead of we're not going to do the cheapest one i know it's, it costs a hundred thousand this is hundred and fifty thousand but i kind of want to just make sure that everything's all done properly so we're going to go over here. <clears throat> we're going to do two um, runways in the future. However, for now, we're going to put one on the right there. Usually, I go for the left when I'm playing by myself. When I'm playing single player. Um, but I thought, hey, I'd try it on the right today. So, we've got to build them. We go back to infrastructure. We go back to our runway exits and entrances. We're going to go for, the, for this one. Um, it's the cheapest one. Um, and it just helps out in the long run. Uh, we're going to go to taxiway foundations and we need to make sure it's at least five wide. So that's six, that's five. There we go. Five by however many. Lovely. And that is the basics. Um, as you can see, we've got wait five stands and blah, blah, blah. So we can actually hide that. Got to wait for these deliveries to come through. So we'll speed up time a little bit just to make sure that things are happening. <clears throat> right. So our terminal building is going to be this small little building over here, right? I've decided that's going to be our new terminal building. So what we need for our terminal building is we need parking structures for the time being. And we're going to place them along here, like so. So there is five there. We're going to put ten of them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten aircraft can come and stay at this airport. They're all general aviation craft, um, so you know it's nothing special. So what we're going to continue on, and we're going to build some more infrastructure. We need a vehicle checkpoint. Um, this is to make sure that people don't come into our airport crazy or unauthorized vehicles to get into our airport. And why we need this is for our for our service vehicles. Um, service vehicles are important, um, and so on too to running an airport first of all and secondly we can get some fuel and stuff so people don't get the fuel so what we're going to do is from here we're going to do this get that down there like so and we're going to go back to infrastructure we're going to build a tower which will be down here for the time being because hey that's the only tower we've got right if we go here to taxiway pass as long as it, there's five in the middle um, just put it on the third one and you should be good and like so so I'm sorry my voice sounds a bit rough today guys I'm still breaking off a cold um, 
which is really freaking annoying because I thought I'd shake it off by now. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, you guys got to part with it just for a little while longer. And um, but yeah, hopefully in the next few episodes I'll sound a bit more better. I've got my hot drink with me, so we should be okay and dandy. Right, uh, back to infrastructure. We're gonna go here, fuel depot. So <coughs> my apologies. Right, so like I was saying, fuel. If you want to refuel our aircraft. We're gonna need some fuel, um, and with this fuel, uh, let's actually do this. Let's do a service road. Service road coming from here, and going back out there like so. All right. So uh, where's the fuel? In here, and here, and here. So the fuel truck will come in. Uh, we'll make sure it goes back out that way like so. By doing the following, going to our infrastructure and transportation. And one way roads. Do that, do that, and you're sorted. So now traffic will go down that way. So, with this, we're going to make sure that this is an exit and this is an entrance. And we're just going to connect up the last few bits and pieces on the taxiway so our aircraft can have a good time. Now we've got a tower, we can actually open the runway. Make sure you open the runway before, right? Okay, see, like I said, it's opening the airport and stuff um, <clears throat> my apologies and press no not H you want to press tab and just like the email you go to the airport control panel and you open the airport so your airport is now open and as you can see we've already got our general aviation aircraft coming in so there's quite a few of them um, which is good So we just got to wait for five or six, as you can see there, thing. All right, also, I forgot to do this before. Um, we need, if we go to infrastructure, you need a vehicle depot. Um, and what that depot is going to do, let me see if I can actually fit it in here. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. What, that, what this depot does is it stores our vehicles for the airport. It carries up to 20 of them, so right. we should be good. <clears throat> okay, so we are back. I'm sorry about that. I just had to do something quickly. Um... All right, so small airfield is pretty much done. What we need to do is we need to buy some fuel, uh, for some vehicles for the fuel. So we're gonna, there's the only one we've got. We've got an Avgas 100 LL um, aviation fuel. So we're gonna take two of them, um, one that can do quite a few airports at the same time. Um, and then we need a contract to provide us such fuel. So if we go back to our economy, our offered contracts, and if we go back to aviation fuel supplies, now you see we've got three different contracts um, and these contracts are the following we've got zip fuel which is going to offer us 1.6 liter on avgas but 20,000 liters and they're going to charge us jet one aviation fuel for 0.4 per liter we've got nature fuel which is 1.6 per liter which is more expensive on the gas 0.4 jet one a1 which eh, is probably a quality better fuel um, but we're not going to go for that one avi fuel will give us 40,000 liters at 1.3 per liter and 0.3 on the jet a1 that is a better deal so with that we go back here we go to operations and we got make sure we check our avgas so fuel service is now enabled as you can see the they're already loading us in and then our trucks are going to come back in and that's gonna oh is that gonna go come back out and try and get some more fuel yes it is so as you can see, that's already going off to get some fuel. And because we've already spent most of our fuel already from the tank, because it only carries 30,000 liters, the truck's going to come back, as you can see there. There we go. There he is going to come back. He's going to go through our checkpoint. And he's got his little orange beacon on. And he's going to refuel that for us. Lovely. So that is basically the small airport. That That's it. That's the general aircraft airport. This This is all it is. So you can either expand it, you can make sure we've got more gates and everything going up there. I don't want to do that as of right now. I probably will do soon. Uh, but for right now, I'm happy with what we've got. If we go to our finances, right, and if we go to our daily finances, you can see that we made a profit of 4950 However, because we've been supplying and building, um, it's going to be a bit more expensive. So... We're going to keep an eye out on that because what we need to do is we need to make sure that we actually have enough people to cover stuff. So as you can see, we've covered, we've done the whole 
thing. And this one is now a regional airport, which is what we're going to do now. Um, regional airports are different. They are ones that carry passengers, and you might see them across the US, across your native country, those smaller airports that aren't international ones. Um, so for the UK, you've got small ones like um, South, uh, no, not South End, I was just about to say South End, no. Uh, you've got the ones down in Brighton. Uh, you have one in, Jesus, I can't remember off the top of my head anymore. You got quite a few. Mozzie, you're an idiot. Just <laughs> I'll put some on, I'll put some definitions. I'll put some locations on the screen uh, that might help you guys know what I'm actually on about. Just a sip of my coffee there. All right. So <clears throat> apparently, service who couldn't access, even though there's a that's a whole service road right there. Anyway, let us continue with building. So, like I said, our terminal is going to be down here, and it can't go past, I mean, it can go past the airport, which it will do eventually. But, I kind of just want to make sure that it's got a one-way road system. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a public road. We're going to turn off here. Three. Up there. Uh, let's do this. And then turn around here. And that goes there. One-way road system up there. And there. And then what I want to do is I want to put... A Bus stop. And what it's going to do, it's going to let me um, let people stop, which is pretty cool. So we'll put one there. Oh, ease to rotate the map, ask to rotate the tool. Put one there, one there, and let's put a taxi put taxi stop. There we go. Can't put that in the middle, which is really annoying. So that's going to stay there. Sidewalks really important for people to uh, walk on so we just make sure that we've got them covered over there by doing that and that like such and now we build our terminal foundations which we're going to need to go to here and then if I want I can expand to the last three but right now we should be good I'll actually expand that out here like so Lovely. And if I go to the bulldoze, I can actually bulldoze this middle wall here. And it'll just be one big foundation. So if I press E to rotate, I can now see the airport from a different angle. So I was there before. Uh, it was like that before. If I press E, uh, Q, I should say, this one, so it rotates clockwise, um, we can actually see it from a different angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some doors here and a door there. Um, and if we go to infrastructure, nope, it's not infrastructure, it's terminal. Go to doors, large, nope, let's go to that. Large door here, so that could be our exit, this will be our exit area, which would be cool. And our entrance can be right here. So we put a door there, and a door there, lovely. So, as with any airport, you've got staff lounges, you've got everything else. Um, we can't really do a check-in desk as of right now because we don't have the finances. Well, we've got the finances, we don't have the staff personnel to do it. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, we're going to let these guys build, 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 build. But in the meantime, if we go here, go to Operations and R&D. This is your research and development. We need a commercial license. That's what we're going to start off with. Um, however, that's not. that's what the tutorial wants you to start off with. I'm going to start with this one. Program group one. And as you can see, I don't have any administrators to actually, you know, work on it. So what I've got to do is I've got to go to staff, I've got to go to applicants, and I've got to go to administrator. But before all that, we need a staff room. And this staff room is going to be confined in the airport so that our staff can actually go to and from areas. So if we do... Uh, how do I want to do this? So... One there, there, and then we can, once we've got the security, we can put the security exit there. Lovely. All right, so, <clears throat> staff rooms. Uh, actually, we need to build it. So this will be our check-in area. Here, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. Force them to come around here like so. In 
into the security area. And we'll just have like a little security area, like so. Uh, we're going to need, okay, so in this case, we're going to have to do this down here. Down here. And up here. There we go. And that'll be our exit to get out of the airport. Uh, so what they're going to need is this bit's going to be a bathroom here for the public use. Um, and then I believe we can actually cut off all of this section here. So check-in, security, departure gates and festivities, one bathroom here. And actually what we'll do is we'll make a second bathroom here. And if we go cancel, we can do that. And then we can do that for a smaller bathroom there. Our staff offices are going to be over here. And it's going to be a fairly big one, so we can have quite a few staff. And then this space is just miscellaneous. We don't really have a use for it right as of right now. So, staff rooms. If we go to staff... We can do a staff zone, which is basically an area only where staff can be in, or the staff room. That's what we want. We want a staff room. Go back to here, to our terminal building, go for doors. We're going to put a large set of doors towards the staff room. So staff don't keep butting heads with the door every so often. It's automatic and it's a big one so they can keep coming in and out. And in the staff room we need to uh, put down some desks for our administrators and for our staff um, if they want to work on computers they can work on computers all they want so let's do that uh, that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen twenty one there we go twenty one computers Lovely. So we're going to let that get built and then we're going to give them some seating because they need to rest. So what I usually do is I go to these sofas and I get these standard cheap sofas. And then just build an area for staff to sit down in. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just needs to make sure that they actually fit in here. Oh, that's right. So... Just make sure you have enough sofas for you, all your stuff. Like so, what we're going to do is we're going to make this one a nice, fancy mat. Let's, let's go for the fancy grey. In there, like so. We're going to give them a nice little plant at the doorway. So when they come in, they're greeted by a nice little area. plants with our airport logo you can't put it in the middle love it we put some more there we go logos everywhere as you see we're progressing through this right we don't need this guys all right so <clears throat> Like we said before, we need to research some stuff. So, admins. Admins are so useful. Um, I usually go for the highest. So, basically, the higher the skill, the better they are. So, I'm not going to hire this person because they've got really, like, they're bad at what they're going to do. So, I'm going to reject those applicants. Now, as you can see, another one pops up, and he's just as bad. So, reject him. And we've got four good ones. Let's see if we can get another five good ones. All right, so we've got five decent people. Um, they're going to do good at their job. I think I've just hired six. Yep. So if we go back to our operations, back to our R&D, you can see there's a maximum of three that can handle it. We've got six. But it doesn't matter because once this program gets done, we're going to make sure that we can unlock two at the same time. So there can be three people on one, three people on another. So our runway, we need to make sure that is keeping up with good repairs uh, the same goes for our stands until we get a COO no it's a CFO or a COO let's have a look uh, it's a COO chief of operations I think that's what it is 
Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So this is gonna be our little staff room uh, where staff can come around and the admins, as you can see, they're on their computer. Oh, we can't get there because. Uh... All right. We'll just fight that out for demolition for a second. Now you see our admins are all on the computer, and I think that's me. Yeah, there's me in my suit. And as you see, he needs to go to the toilet. So we're gonna build a. T oh, you know what? We're actually gonna build a staff, a staff built toilet. So to get walls. We'll go from. We'll do like a wall entrance here, like so, and we're gonna get these two demolished, and we're gonna go to the bathroom. Gonna set this up here. And it's thundering outside. Lovely. Absolutely amazing. Right, that's what we need. We need some toilets there. Okay, easy tiger. Jesus, just screaming in my ear, I get it. I don't know why it's thundering so damn loud, but hey. Let's do that, let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Lovely, so we can actually add some more. So the reason why I'm putting so many toilets down is this is going to be a staff only toilet and the other ones are going to be only available for passengers. So once we get quite a few staff, quite a lot of them will want to go to the toilet at the same time. Just like real life. Uh, nope, we can cancel those ones there. I can put hand dryers on those ones. There we go. So they've got their little own privacy area. They're all cubicles, so you know, don't worry about building walls and stuff. But that should be all fine and dandy. So if we go here, nope, we can go here. So we're allowed any gender, passenger or employees, executives only, no. They can open, like so. Now we can actually add some tiles to the bathroom. Uh, let's go. Let's go for this one here, like so. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually add a little door to stop her on the medium door over here to stop the smell coming out. Even even though it probably, yeah, it probably won't do any difference. Alright, lovely. So that's all done. They're going to get the door on. This is going to be our public bathroom once that happens. And yeah, okay. So as you can see, program one's done. We're going to create a new one. And what we need is project group. It's going to take six hours to do at a maximum of three people. So put three of them on there. And we wait for another six hours for that to be done. And that will be done at a fair few in the morning. We can actually put our banana tree back in now. No, that's a fern. There's a banana. Banana, banana, banana. Alright, lovely. And let's see all our contractors are in here. Once we do the uh, that R&D, we... Oh, you know what? We're actually going to expand this airport just a tad. Just a tad and a bit more. One there. Two, three, four, five. So I think there's uh, 15 on there. 15 stands now. So... <clears throat> in the end what's going to happen is all of these will become commercial these will be our general aviation actually you know what I'm not going to do that there I'm not going to do that there because then we can expand our taxiway and that's exactly what I'm going to do expand our taxiway right that's five lovely let's do it to here And then what we can do is we can do this. Just connect these. And lovely. They can accept more people, which means more money for us. So let's actually have a look at what we're pulling right now. So because we're building, like I said, our expense is always going to be higher than what needs to be. Look, if we go to other expenses, 215000 on construction. That puts a hamper on our profits. But as you can see, we did make a profit of 27000 um, the other day. And we're actually making an income. Oh, refunds. Okay, that's what it is. I was thinking, what what are we making profit on right now? We don't even have a, CF, a CFO to, to do that. Anyway, so they're enjoying their sort of, you know, infrastructure and stuff. 
these are doing fine for now. Yeah, lovely. So as you see, we've pretty much got a full airport, apart from one or two. But there's always aircraft coming into land and stuff, which is awesome. 68%, which is fine by me. Let's go back to our operations and let's see if it's done. Nope, 74% nearly done. Employee can't find the staff room. I'm pretty sure the staff room is right there. And I don't know how you cannot find it when there's doors available everywhere. Yeah, contractors, you can walk anywhere, literally. So I don't know what you're complaining about. As you can see, we've got buses and stuff taking people people up. Oh, there's an administrator. I think she's going home for the night. I believe she is. Project completed. Lovely. So we can start a new one. And we're going to start that commercial license. That all-important commercial license. Maximum minimum of two. Maximum of three. Let's put all three of them on. And we'll start a new project. And that will be Jet A1 Fuel. And we're going to get three people on that one as well. There we go. Which means by the time we get our commercial um, people on, we can support their needs as well. Which is essentially the reason why we're doing this. So we ref you will general aircraft with this um, Avgas 100. And the other one will be JA-1. And the rest of them will be JA-1 because that's what it is. Alright, so let's actually develop this toilet here. And this is a public one, and we need doors. Alright, so as you can see, we've recompleted completed the project, which means we're going to need another gas station. We're going to actually put it on this side here, so it doesn't do that. And because we don't need a contract, because we've got a contract with these guys, with AviFuel, they'll also provide us Jet 1 for 0 0.3 per litre, which is good. So let's go back to the terminal. Let's get a door in here. Medium one, please. Lovely. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this as such. And go back to the bathrooms and get some cubicles going. And as such there. There we go. Let's just do this one like here. And then this area, oh, we'll do one more. Like so, and then wash your hands down here. And as you see, the tutorial is absolutely going bonkers up there. Alright, lovely. Uh, and some hand drives, which is always important. Get them up here and there as well. Because that's all you, what you want. Uh, let's get some of these ones. So it'll look like a kitchen table. There we go. Right, so <clears throat> I think we've researched uh, the commercial license. Awesome. And the Jet O1 fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for one of them. It's going to go for night flights, which gives us runways uh, or night runways. And that's three. And we're going to go for extended. We need a minimum of five, as you can see. It'll take two days to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our economy. We're going to go back to our applicants. And we're going to hire some more. And not those two. So, in total, we will have, if we go to Administrator, we have quite a few. We have, I think it's nine. So, I think we're going to need a few more for our R&D. I think we've got the minimum. Oh, no, we've just got them past that. Okay. Just past the minimum, but we need the maximum, which I want eight. So, I'm going to go back here and hire these two and back to our operations. And now we've got a maximum of eight. So, now it's going to take two days for that to complete while we do this one. So, because we've got our R&D, research, op opens desks, and security, which is awesome, which is what we were talking about earlier. So, security. These zones are the bane of my existence, but they're here for a reason, and we're going to keep them. So, that is a secure zone. That is a public bathroom. This is a secure zone. 
all the way until you leave the airport. Security exit. Don't say it. it's two. <laughs> no, I thought it was three wide. Okay, the good thing is we can actually push back our push back our securities. <laughs> nice. All right. There goes the security exit, and we can get some check-in desks over here. Like so, and we're gonna actually build a wall back here to fill them out down here. Uh, we'll keep it three. And fill them out there like so lovely and that is done now we're gonna go to our check-in desks as you see we've got info desks flight information displays check-in desks and that's what we want so we're gonna leave a space of leave a space of one at the back we're not gonna worry too much about baggage on this side of the airport for now and as you can see <clears throat> We are building desks right now. Let's put another one here. Uh, you know what? We don't need all of these for now. We don't need all of these for now. There we go. Oh, I've built them the wrong way. Okay. Mozzie, you're an idiot. Mozzie, you can't <laughs> check in there. There we go. That's what I'm doing. One there, 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 and there. Squeeze a more here. Sure. And then we'll build a wall here. There we go. Lovely. So, with that, we can build in our lovely lines, our lovely queue system. So airport ones are always, oh, let's just go back with that one. There, there, there. As you guys remember, airports, always the worst thing on the planet for queues. They do love their queues. Okay, let's do that one. Let's go down this way. And we've been charged for these barriers and stuff, which... I don't think we used to do before, but now we do. Runway 1's broken. Escape. Repair it. Right, back onto the run back onto the queue building. Right, there's three. Alright, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, that worked. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. There, 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 there. There we go. Nearly done. Nearly done. And let's go this way. This way. Nope, let's go back one. There we go. Alright. Bang, 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 bang. Nope. Keep doing it too fast, Moz. Just need to get one down. There, like these controls are actually so finicky, which is really freaking annoying. But ah, no, no. There we go. Two more building queues for days, so that. No one can be pushing in and creating chaos here at the desk. When we get more passengers per flight, we'll probably extend these, but for now, they're good. So, with this, we're going to need gates to board our aircraft. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are all my victims today. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need some 
large doors, put them over here, and passengers will essentially walk out to their planes, which is good. It's good. But for today, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode. This is the start of Airport CEO. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you again next time. Take it easy.